fish on. That's a big fish. Dad, 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 it's a big, big fish. Net. Net's I don't behind know where you. that is. It's right behind you. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that thing. This is what I'm talking about. Lake Erie Fall Footballs on the Stealth Invader. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It's Avery here. And today we are doing something very, very special, something I'm very excited about. And that is using the new X-Zone Stealth Invader Bait. We will talk about this a little later when we get onto the lake, but I'm also doing something very new, something I've never done before, uh, and that is I'm going to be towing the boat today. So I've had my license for um, around a year, my beginner's license, but I just got my full license. Even though I have had my beginner's license for a full year, I've still never towed the boat. So now that I've kind of gotten the hang of driving, it's time for me to get the hang of towing the boat so let's get in the truck and we'll see what happens get in the passenger seat dad because I need some guidance you're golden and just don't be shy like look in your mirror every once in a while to see what the trailer's doing behind you oh that's like really like you're really tight right yeah. you have to go wide I told you how wide am I supposed to go like off the road no but just go wider like when you're coming here like go wide we forgot to go get coffee is there anywhere to get coffee between here and Nanticoke? Nanticoke? No, not unless Can you Can we want go to. through Dover? I don't care, but... <laughs> That's going, like, downtown! <laughs> you want me to go downtown Well, I wanted Dover? to go to the coffee shop in Port Rowan. We could just circle back up 59 and grab a coffee. Or I could just not have one and be sad. Piece of cake, right? So you forget you have a trailer behind you and do something stupid. Can I, when now you got potentially cars coming this way, you need to give yourself a little more time. You have to be mindful of the fact there's a 20 foot boat behind you with a trailer. Holy, you can feel it. You can feel the weight? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just go around, go straight. Go straight, no, no, go straight, go, oh, straight, go straight. And then turn in and come this way. Yeah, and then do a nice wide turn around that curb. You're good, you got lots of room. You can get, you're good. Let's look at your side view mirror to make sure the trailer tires are good. Should be fine. That's good for now. We gotta do the truck too. Okay, pull ahead. Watch in front of you. I'm you're watching. good, just watch in front of you. Okay. You can't look back while you're driving forward. Well, I'm making sure it's not good. Well, oh, someone just walked in front of you. You could have run them over. I was watching you. No, you weren't. You were looking this way. I'm just telling you, you can't look back while you're driving forward. He was telling me he saw you the other day and asked yeah. you how old you were. He's yeah. like, how can you drive? Yeah, that's what he told me. <laughs> you remember how to get to Nanticoke? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, I'm not directionally challenged. Whatever. You're directionally, your boat pulling challenge. Shut the... up. You're getting there. You're doing a good job. All right, so we made it to the ramp. No casualties. No issues driving. I did have some troubles turning, but we're here. Let's get in the boat. Let's get on the water. Go pay for the ramp. See how I take care of you? You disaster of a child. What would you do without me? Here. Well, I wouldn't be alive. This is true. All right, so. We are on the lake. It is flat calm, as you can see. We rarely get days like this, especially in the late fall. Um, but we're gonna go out and we are going to try and locate some big fall smallmouth bass. This time of year, they are pretty much eating as much food as they can. Uh, around this time last year, I actually caught my personal best on my 16th birthday. Uh, it was just under six pounds. So we're gonna see if we can get any giants today on the goby looking X-Zone Stealth Invader Bait. Let's get going. All right, slow down, Speedy. Zoom in, you're on top of a waypoint already. Avery's anxious, she's like running right past her waypoints. No, I just wanna catch some fish. <laughs> We haven't really been here in around a year or so because this is mostly a fall spot that we fish. So yeah, let's check out some old waypoints and go from there, see where we want to start fishing. All right, folks, it stresses Avery out when we 
fish anywhere near other people, even if it's our own waypoints and our own spots. There's a boat like way over there. He's probably like solid two football fields away. She's stressed out about it. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments. If they're like two football fields away, is that a problem? I don't think it is. Okay, so I've got two specifically rigged with the Stealth Invader, and that is the Drop Shot and the Ned Rig. You can use this bait on a Ned Rig on a Drop Shot. It can be used as a small swim bait, but today, for, because we are just going to be using Mag Alive, trying to get on top of the fish cast to them, I've got the Ned Rigged for Dad, Drop Shot for me. I've got this color in black, and then a different color on the Ned, just to have a variety see which color they are wanting to eat. Oh, there's one. Hey, I was going to cast to it. It's not very fair. Yeah, it's not very big, and he's over there, and I cast my jig over here. What's going on here? What'd you do to this rock? You're going to catch a fish? I'm not even going to have my... Look at this. What did you do to this? I didn't do anything. I just rigged You it. rigged them. Look at me. Like I was supposed to. Oh, well, it got tangled. Whoops. I can't fish because Avery sabotaged my reel. Oh, there's, there's a fish. Man, I don't know what's the better option. Actually finding fish, pinpointing them and chasing them on Mega Live or just doing our old school drag. I want to try and target them specifically though. Fish on. Ah, you bugger. Yes! She's Let's cheating. Go! I saw it on Mega Live. I knew this one was going to eat if I just dead sticked it. And Don't I rush did. Him. Don't lose him. I won't lose him. At least I am praying to God. Like, I did not hook him very well because I was not really paying attention. I was trying to give you the gobies, but it's a good fish. He ain't that big. You just haven't caught one that big in a while. Yeah, I know. I don't care. No, it is a big, small one. He's like that. a three pounder. You are two and a half. so too spoiled. There we go. Woo! Finally! Oh! I've not caught one of these in a very long time. I dead sticked it because they are so spooked from the motor and the boat and I just wanted to make sure that he would actually commit to it. This guy committed to it. First fish of the day. Good Lake Erie smallmouth bass. Let's get a picture with him, get him back. There he goes. Let's go catch some more. That was so exciting. That made me very happy. I've not caught a small bass in a very long time. You caught him while I was screwing around with my rod in the back. That's how it works. Cheater. I ain't cheating, I'm just making time useful. I think we could catch them on Mega Live. We just have to be patient. I don't have time for patience. Yeah, I know you don't. These fish are looking at our baits directly under the boat and like within 10 feet of the boat but they do not want to commit we have ultra ultra crystal clear water right now like drop it down i can see it clear as day there's probably 15 20 feet of water clarity here right now and i don't know if the boat's spooking them so what we might do is the old school drag that allows us to get the bait like 30, 40 feet behind the boat. And hopefully, if they can't see the boat, hear the electric motor, whatever it may be, but they're right under us and they don't want to eat. So we're going to try getting our baits further away from the boat by dragging a little bit, cruising around. <laughs> There's fish everywhere. Got him. No way. Yep, yep. Constant on off. As soon as we put the <laughs> baits like 40 feet behind the boat, that was like two seconds of trolling. Two minutes of fishing, tops. Not even. Oh, he's coming up. Stay down, you bugger. <laughs> I haven't fished for smallmouth in a long time. Oh my gosh, that's a big one, Dad. Hey, net girl. Right in the net. There we Woo! go. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Right away. We decided to toss it out, keep the baits away from the boat, rather than trying to target them right under the boat, and caught that guy instantly. Yes! yes! Avery's got the little black one on. I've got this brown, bit purple on it. 
he smoked it right in the right spot. We're not gonna weigh this guy, he's probably like four pounds. Let's let this guy go. The water's nice and cold. Fish should be good and healthy. There he goes. Money. Beautiful release, as all am I doing. I'm winning, my fish is bigger. <laughs> We ain't, we ain't having a competition even. All right, let's go back to stroll and screw I that casting crap. Put a slightly bigger swim bait jig head on because Avery's strolling and it just keeps the bait moving. The fish sometimes see it coming by and they just swipe at it and whack it. And it's just bouncing through those rocks on the bottom, looking like a goby. And that took like a minute and a half. Oh, I just got whacked. But I missed him. Too slow on the trigger. Whacked it again. I'm sure you ain't just game bottom or Listen, I maybe I haven't fished for a while, but I know the difference between a rock and a fish. <laughs> Do you know where your camera is for when I catch another one and you're still trying? Yeah, I see it. Okay, just check it. Stop chirping, you chirper. Claire's not in here. Someone's got to chirp you. Got a fish on. Are you joking? Nope. Oh, well, I'm just going to flip my veil. Grab this camera and film me. That's the star of the show today, apparently. What, how, when did Whoa. that thing eat? Whoa, this has got weight. You're like directly in the sun. It's kind of frustrating. Here, move down that way, there we go. Mm. That's a better You want me to move for better lighting? Yeah, that's a better lighting. Now you're blocking the front camera. I will. I'll move this way. Maybe I just, might, maybe I just have my drag too loose. Tighten your drag, man. I'm nervous. Hey. He's not that big. There we go. Ah! Thought he was a lot bigger, but He's only fighting hard because I hooked him in the side of the face. Right here in the cheek. So he's hooked on the outside. So he's using his whole side of his body to fight the whole time. But hey, nice little smallmouth bass. Whoop. And this little purpley colored. Goby. Goby. On the goby. Maybe my new favorite bait. Let's catch some more. See ya, buddy. Okay, Avery's still snagged. I'm just over here catching fish. Thanks. Let him go. And there he goes. I'm gonna change this battery. Fish on. I yeah. was getting hit. Yeah. For crying out loud, I just mid battery change. Well, You're I on was your getting own. hit and I knew I was. That's why I needed you to grab your rod. I literally, like, half of my spool is out right now. That's good. how far. Gives me time to boot my camera back up. That's how far out he is. Either it's a good fish or it's hooked in the side like dad's was because. All right, I got my camera back it's, on. It's literally, it's not even moving. This just. Oh. oh yeah, that's a big fish. It's a good one. I don't care how many fish I catch. I just want to catch at least one big one. Oh my gosh. We are hammering fish right now. Oh, that's a big fish. It might be hooked in the side, but that's a big fish. Dad, 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 big, where's big the net? Where, Nets I don't behind even know you. where the net is. Right behind you. Oh! He got him hooked in the chin. That's why he's fighting so funny. Oh, man. Oh man, I can't lose this thing. This is a really I'm trying good to film. This is a really good fish. I don't care if you're trying to film. I can't net it because if I lose this, I will cry. I will literally cry my eyes out. This is my biggest small month of the here. year. That might be my PB. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that thing. Holy cow, it's a monster. No way. Oh. Oh my gosh, this might be a six pounder. <laughs> I think you just haven't caught one that big in a while. It, that, it's it, big, <laughs> it's big. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Lake Erie fall footballs on <laughs> the Stealth Invader. This is the size of fish I was looking for today. This is a monster. All right, so this is one of the biggest smallmouths I have ever caught. Unfortunately, our scale is dead so i can't weigh him but we got a length and girth on him but we're gonna put him in the live well for a few minutes try to catch another one get some nice fish pictures and end off the day but what i can tell you is the stealth invaders work <laughs> i'd say so all right the unique thing about this bait is it actually looks pretty much identical to a goby it's the same size same shape of a goby's body the head is bigger than the rest of the body and it's skinny. 
In the past, we've used the X-Zone Mini Swimmer on jig heads like this, uh, which looks very similar to a Gobi, but this one is more refined. It's more the shape. Uh, it's more the profile of an actual Gobi, and it crushes big smallmouth bass. Fish. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a really good one. Let's Just spot lock that safe. Okay. I guess the north to south is the way to go. No, what's really I told you. no, no, no. North what's really south. happening is we're targeting these rocks on the way. There's like a million rocks on bottom that we've seen on Mega Live. As you see, we've got like a bunch of waypoint, a million waypoints. Or there. maybe they just eat when the boat's going from north to south. No, it's because we're going, we're targeting the rocks while we are driving back this way. That's why we are just in a better angle. Here's my leader. How how long is your leader? How long did I, don't I know, make you it? You tied it. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, it's a. There, there we go. We go. Woo! Woo! That's a bigger one too. Oh, he's a, a tanker. Look at that thing. Look what? at that big fish. That monster. That is what we're talking about. Woo! Don't invade I thought I was supposed to talk. Okay, well, I just want to talk. Oh, my battery died anyway. <laughs> Put a new battery on it. Sorry, I got excited. Oh, look at the belly on that thing. Jeepers, yeah, creepers. Yeah, that's a five pounder. The one in my thing is a six pounder. We're getting- I see it. We're getting double. That's a solid five pounder yeah, for sure. Yeah, That's definitely Mine a five Mine is pounders. a six pounder. That's a five pounder. Woo! I said, I don't know what I said. What did I say? I wish Listen. we could have a hundred days a year like this. The fall is the best on Lake Erie. Let's get photos, double photos. Awesome fish. All right, I will never know how big this fish is, but it is most likely my PB, and we re need to release him because this is a beautiful, giant fish that needs to go back and make more giant fish babies. <laughs> there he goes. Oh man, that was a good day on the water fishing with the stealth invader. I'm going to be using those a lot more. <laughs> they might be my new favorite. All right, so the game plan today was to come on the lake, test out this new X-Zone Stealth Invader bait, uh, something that we had never done before. And we started at around 11 o'clock. It's almost 2.33 ish now so we've had a few hours of fishing and it has been pretty successful we got a couple giants fishing this thing it definitely worked out how we wanted it to i am going to be adding it to my smallmouth bass arsenal and be using this bait more throughout the fall season uh if you did like this video please click the like button and if you'd like to see more content like this click the big red subscribe button take a kid fishing we will see you next time